Okay, guys. Um, can you explain to me how you have this working right now? Uh, as far as testing the water and chlorinating it. All right, right now we got our uh, sensors here that take our salt, our salt uh, level, takes our water temperature, and we got our cells here. These are what actually produce the chlorine for us. Then we got the pipes into our main system. When the water comes in, it goes up in this box, which has two sensors for your pH and your or feed or chlorine. Okay. Take, take your water samples, which feed it to this unit, which actually gets, gets your computer, gives you your readouts, uh, tells the cells to turn on, if it needs uh, more, if the pH is high, it'll add some acid, which we've got our acid tank over here, feeds right into the lines. Okay. And we've got a secondary unit, is a slave unit, to uh, help with our bather load a little. Bit. Okay, so this kind of works like a thermostat in your house. You set the point to a certain level, and once it gets that level, it turns off. It keeps it, it keeps it at that level. If it's high, it'll shut it off. If it's low, it turns the system on. Seems that, like it's pretty much hands free that time. So, absolutely. Um, how long, how old are the probes? Have you replaced them, or are they? We replaced one ORP probe. Uh, the pH probe is the original, though. So you're five years, and you're pretty much very low, low maintenance as far as that goes. Absolutely. Which is great. Great. Uh, nice and neat. Seems like it's easy. It seems too good to be true. It does, and it, it's not, but it sounds too good to be true, and the system proved itself. Great, great. Again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.